Hey folks, here's a little utility I built. It's for decoding crash dumps from ESP32s. It might work on ESP8266s. Uh, Not quite sure, I haven't tested it there. Uh, there are other programs that do this, but I wanted a nice standalone one and I wanted to dig into things a little bit. So I wrote this little program. It's Windows Forms, which means it only runs on Windows, uh, hence the name. So you can find it uh, out here on GitHub. So github.com slash ericgu slash ESP crash dump decoder. Um, I'll put that link in the comments. So you download the exe. Um, you might have to install some .NET libraries. You might not. So take a look at it. So here's this really ugly, you know, 1990s interface. So basically we need two pieces of information to be able to do this. Um, first, we need what's called a map file, and the map file is created as part of the link process. And it basically says where each of the functions in your program fits in memory when it's loaded in. So you'll see there's some instructions here, and instruction one says modify the build, build flags uh, in platformio.ini, or whichever program you're using, I use platformio, and you add minus wl minus map output dot map. And this just tells the compiler to create the map file. And you can leave that in there. It's, it uh, doesn't cause any issues to always generate a map file. So you go that, you do build, and then once you do that, you can hit browse here. And that'll take you to a file dialog, and you can go out and search and find the map file you created. It's called output.map. So we have that information. That'll tell the program where each function is located. And then we need the information from the ESP. So if I flip over here, uh, this is the serial output. You can see up here I have a crash. And I don't care about any of this part here, but what I care about is this part down here, which is backtrace. And this is essentially what the program stack looks like at the time it crashed. So I can copy that, come over here, paste it in, and then I hit process. And what it's going to do, each of these uh, entries in the backtrace tells where the program was. Um, and it just essentially iterates through them. So what you can see... At the top of the stack, exactly where it was, I don't know uh, what was going on. The stack might actually be corrupted here. Um, the first one down is a routine called LED, LED Manager, colon, colon, tick. So LED Manager is a class. The method is called tick. Now, I don't have line numbers, uh, but what I do have is these two measures here. This says we were 325 bytes into this routine, and this routine is 450 bytes long. So that can help you kind of localize where it was. And then we can trace our way up the stack. You know, So this, this function was called by this function, and this function, and this function, and so on. So this won't tell you exactly where it was, and it won't necessarily tell you the problem, but it'll at least give you a good idea where to start when you want to do debugging. Thanks.